Okay, I am going to have a quick talk on, on something here, uh, as the title says. Racism versus racial discrimination. I, I think we're at a place right now uh, in this country, in the, the public discourse, the public conversation, where it's very uh, crucial that we, we have some clearer definitions of, of terms being used. You'll pardon me if the, uh, if the connection isn't that great, as you uh, probably can imagine, probably guess if you follow me, I, I am on the move, I am traveling, which is how I spend 90% of my time these days. But uh, this is something that I, I couldn't wait to, to address later on. I, I could write something more and more scholarly and exhaustive, but instead we're just going to have a, 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 a real quick, a super short mini lecture on the topic. First of all, let's be clear. All There's racism everywhere. There are people who are never going to like you just because of the way you look. Uh, there's racism of a sorts, you can say, within uh, black people, uh, towards different shades and all that. But when black people talk about racism in this country, we're not talking about you just don't like me because of how I look, or you might call me the N-word or something like that. We are talking about systemic racial dis discrimination, the type of racism that extends to uh, keeping you from getting employment because of the color of your skin. That does not happen to white people by and large, never has. There's no history of it happening in this country. When we're talking about racial discrimination, we're talking about coloreds, uh, uh, whites only water fountains, whites only section of the bus, this and that. That was never extended the other way around. The history and legacy of racism, of racial discrimination in this country is very clear and distinct in its nature. It was about enforcing uh, that whites, the white race was superior to all else, and the black race was inferior underneath all the others, including the other quote-unquote so-called minority races. This was very clear. It's very uh, documented throughout the history of this country. It wasn't that long ago where, uh, that, that we had the legal segregation, the racial segregation, which is an expansion of the racial discrimination propping up a doctrine of white supremacy. This only goes in one direction in America, historically and even today. So when we say racism, yes, we understand that this can go in, in different directions. It's a two-way street and all that. But that's not what's really problematic in this country. That's not what has created a system of laws, uh, economic structures, land ownership and stuff that is, 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 is grossly discriminatory towards people of other races. And even though we are in an era where we've talked reform and there has been some little uh, changes in the law, we still, on a regular basis, find it happening over and over and over again. This is well documented from the loan practices to redlining and all of these things. So we, we have to be absolutely clear where we are uh, in, in this country, that not only is there a history and legacy of severe and even brutal racial discrimination, but you cannot oppress a whole people brutally, economically and otherwise, and say, oh, well, we've stopped doing it now and everything is good. The, the, the key is America as a nation has not made good by the way of those that it has essentially tried to spiritually destroy, which is what oppression on the scale of what happened in this country is actually truly about. It, it was about spiritually destroying a whole race of people, believe it or not. So I'm, I'm going to stop with this one for right now because I, I am traveling. I, I need to do a little bit more uh, research. I, I, I can give you some specific citations that you can look up. Of course, in this wonderful information age that we live in, anything I'm saying here can readily be Googled and you can find a bazillion of your own sources to give clear reference to what it is I'm referring to. But just let's be clear on this. If you take away nothing else, nothing else, the difference between racism and racial segregation, racial discrimination, it's huge. It's huge. Just because I don't like you because you're white or because you're Jewish or German or whatever, so what? But when you start a wholesale keeping people back because of that, which black people have never been in a position in this country to do that to white people. We're not talking about on an interpersonal, person-to-person -person level, but institutionally, 
There's only one group of people that's ever been in a position to do that in this country, and that is white people. It's that simple. And I don't say this to cause any further division, as some would like to probably quickly respond and say. I, I say it as a matter of just historical, accurate fact. And if you have a problem with that, then let's work together and change that. So in the future, when we look back on our history, we can show where things turned around. Until then, it is what it is. And I'm James MacArthur. Thank you for listening.